Again, about who you are and the phenomenal thing that happens at the Hippie Kitchen. Um, we came down on the row in 1970 and for the first two years just about served from a step van the way a lot of uh, churches do is serve from their their vans or their trucks and um, and but we wanted to locate on the row it's called the Regal Annex it was just a two-story building. Um, it, it had been a, a cafe and it had been closed for years. So we started renting and ultimately we were able to uh, buy it and that's a story of itself. Mother Teresa helped us buy the kitchen. She didn't provide the money, she really? provided the prayers. Oh, and, um, and so we thought we were set. But it um, wasn't that long before the earthquake started shaking up the old pre-1930s brick buildings without reinforcement and it knocked out the back building the back uh, wall of our building we continued cooking in the building but serving outside and while we were serving outside Jeff and I literally at the same moment thought this is much nicer than being inside <laughs> because the people were, were relaxed and there was no need to hustle them along in the uh, dining room we only had room for 56 when it was full we had to start saying if you can move along now, if you can move along, we need the space. The uh, seating is never, never a problem. The garden will seat uh, 80 at the tables and another 40 on the walls, which were designed for seating. And uh, then with people just coming through, getting their plates and leaving, we never have a uh, the inability to, to seat everybody. That um, Jeff and I said, you know what, it's, even though we're on blacktop and no, no cover, a shade cover. This is nicer than being inside. So at that moment we decided we would just build a prep kitchen and have a dining garden. And uh, so we, we it took us three years to raise the money to even start. And so we got the building up and then we um, raised a bit more money and uh, and started in with the garden and actually professionals helped us uh, choose the design and all and uh, and then a, a nursery actually um, donated the original plantings and after a year or two maybe it was two or three years the uh, landscape architect came by to see how things were going and uh, she walked through and she said something's going on here that the garden was maturing much faster and I told her it was because of all the the um, positive energy of the people who came to eat there that they really enjoyed being there and it uh, had an effect on the plants and so people really do um, enjoy being there it's kind of a quiet alternative to the row we even ask people to turn off the radio so that the noises the, the sounds um, are people's voices and uh, <clears throat> the running water in the fountains and the birds and and so it really is some people call it paradise some people call it Eden uh, people have their names for it there are fish in one of the fountains and the, there are birds there and um, caged birds as well as the real birds and and so it serves a great purpose. We're not sure our food is more important than our garden or our garden is more important than our food. Tell us a little bit more about Jeff. Well Jeff uh, is... I don't think that he has had a real job uh, since he graduated from college. So Jeff has been at the worker for 40 years. It is kind of his his mission in life. and. Uh, and we've been married for 36 years, 36 of those 40 years. Yay. And we just yesterday committed to staying for another year. Uh, the Catholic, our Catholic worker only uh, makes a commitment year by year. So yesterday was the day to, to pay up. So we both said that we'd stay another year. <laughs> well, now, well, now we're going to close with this. Okay. A rough estimate. How many people do you think you've served? Let's say in the last 10 years or a period. Haven't got a clue. We do not ever do a count. Uh, now that we're using paper plates, um, 
we thought, well, that helps us, except people come, we ask them to reuse their plates, they come with containers, and so we do not keep track, but it's, it's a bunch of people. <laughs>